Hey, welcome back to Low Nose. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to normalize your audio in Vegas Pro. Stay tuned. All right, okay, I know what you're thinking. Low, really, another normalizing video? Well, yeah, I mean, normalizing is a great tool, especially when it comes to improving your audio, and who doesn't want to improve their audio, okay? Um, check out this link right here if you wanna see my other videos on normalizing. Uh-huh. All right, okay. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna take this intro right here and we're gonna throw it into Vegas Pro. And I'm gonna show you how taking this audio right here, normalize it and show you how it improves your overall audio performance. Let's get straight to it. All right, let's get to it. Quick and dirty and uh, normalizing your audio in Vegas Pro. Let's go ahead and drag our video files and our audio files to our session. There goes my video and there goes my audio. I'll do a real quick lineup of my audio. Claps here. Let's go ahead and mute the camera. Sounds good. Okay, so here's my overall session. I've got my sync, and then I've got my... Hey, welcome back to Low Nip. I got my introduction, then I've got my final take here for the end. All right, okay, I know what you're thinking. Low, really? Let's, let's take a real quick uh, li listen to the difference. Uh, right now, the audio we're hearing right, right okay. now, that's the lavalier mic that I have. I'm actually pretty impressed with this microphone. It wasn't too expensive, and I, uh, I'm actually getting pretty good audio. Um, I'll probably give you like a review or something or a comparison with all the other microphones that I have. Um, but actually, I'm very impressed with it. Okay, and this is the audio for my camera. All right, okay, I know what you're thinking. Sounds horrible, it's just spacey. I, you, you hear my, you hear it everything in a microphone it's not really a directional microphone um ugh, it's, just, it's just crap um okay so all right so we've got our audio lined up we're ready to go we can actually see right away that the levels from my actual the, from the lavalier microphone the levels are actually noticeably visually you can see that they're actually lower okay compared to the actual the uh the levels compared to the camera so let's go ahead, let's change that up. Let's boost the levels of our audio from our recorder. And you know, as again, I like recording at a low level because you get you still get the, the nice sound of the audio, but also it reduces all the noise from everything else. So actually, let, let's see. All right, okay, I know what you're thinking, low. Okay, so I like to record at about negative 12 decibels. All right, okay. We can see that it's hitting there. With the okay, uh, with the okay, it actually hits around. All right, okay, I know. What nine, but you know that that's I'm I'm not gonna freak out about that. It's it's still well within the area of uh, working out. All right, okay, I know what you're thinking. Low, really, another normalizing video. Well, yeah, I mean normalizing is a great tool. Okay, and the actual audio is hanging around between twelve and fifteen, and around eighteen. So that, that that's good, and the audio sounds good. And it, the only thing that you're hearing is that that's just you know pretty low. So. Let's go ahead and normalize our audio. So we're going to go to options, preferences first, and you want this is where you want to set your normalizing, uh, your normalized peak levels for your audio. I always like negative six. I like the way uh, that kind of boosts boosts it up from wherever it is, and it still gives me headroom to if I need to do any compression, equalization, or anything else in my audio. It still gives me headroom to still have a nice clean sound in my audio. Okay, but right here we're just gonna we're, all we're gonna do is just boost our audio with normalization. Now, we see that my level is here. Uh, I'll go ahead, I will take my track, and I will normalize my audio. Now, what I'm doing right here is I'm going to make a mistake and I just want to explain to you what's going on right here. I'm gonna right click, switches, and I'm gonna normalize. As you can see, the audio level decreased. It didn't, it didn't increase like we wanted to. The reason being, The reason being is because, let me undo this, is because normalizing sets, it looks at your audio and it takes the reference of your audio and it set the the peak the peak part of your, your track to the, the decibel level that you want it set. As you can see here, these claps, this is the loudest thing on my track. So see, these things are hitting zero decibels. So it took it took my claps as the reference, and it's like, wait a second. This is not the level that are the parameters are set. We need to bring this down from zero to negative six, and as a result, everything else just kind of came down in conjunction with it. It, <coughs> it wasn't like it handled things separately. It just took a reference point of your audio, and it brought it down. If these were lower, then it actually would have brought it up. 
So let's do the same thing again, but now, the only difference we're gonna do now is we're going to take the collapse out of the equation. I'm gonna split my uh, the track from the rest of the audio, and now I'm going to apply the normalization. Right click, switches, and normalize, and it will it will take an effect the negative six that we have set in our in our options. Boom, okay, so now you see our audio All right, boosting. okay, I know what you're thinking. Low, really, another You can see off the bat, it even says right here that our audio peaked at negative six, and that's good. All right, okay, I know what you're thinking. Low, really, another normalizing video? Yes, well, really. yeah, I mean, normalizing is a great tool, especially when it comes to improving your audio, and who doesn't want to improve their audio, okay? Um, and, th and that's it. If, uh, if there's any other tweaks you want to, you could probably ride the, the overall track level, the, the master track if you want to. But of course, you know, this is going to, if you have any effects going on in there, it's going to affect that as well. So you might want to ride it here. Or maybe you can just uh, play with the normalized settings again. Maybe uh, six is not, you know, maybe you're not doing too much with your audio. So maybe you can afford to play, you know, maybe change this number to three or two. It all depends on what actually is working for you and, and what your project is all about, what you're trying to do. Okay, but as you can see, normalizing is it's really simple, it's really quick. It does the audio, it, I'm sorry, it does the job that you need it to do. And also, uh, you know, in my in my opinion, also it's a really good uh, visual tool as well. You know, let's just say you you zoomed in all into your audio all the way, but you're like, man, I I I just need it boost up a little more. Maybe you know the normalize could be used as a visual aid for uh actually for for maybe syncing up your audio. Let's uh let's go ahead. And I'll, I'll take this portion of my audio, just this. I'm gonna switch it to, I'm gonna go zero, zero decibels. Just just as an example, let's just pretend the, the audio on my video record is just really, really, really low. And as far as my visual aid, so I can sync up my audio, you know, I, it's just really tough. I've got like a line here. That's just like a straight little line here. And I've got all the, the waves here. So I'm like, man, how can I help, help myself uh, with the visuals to line up the audio. So uh, I split my track so it doesn't affect anything else. I set my parameters to zero decibel for normalizing. And let's let's try normalizing this. Boom, look at that. Your normalizing can be used as well. You know, obviously you're not gonna use uh, the scratch track or the audio from uh, your camera as any kind of fi final audio, but you know, it does help you match up the audio. Um, so you can do your sync a lot easier. All right, guys, that's normalizing your audio in Vegas Pro. As you can see, it's pretty simple. You just got to understand where the peaks and levels and how things are set and where you want it. You know, in the end, like I said, it's a really good tool to use to improve the sound of your audio. Okay, so if you liked the video, if you found out that it, if you found that it helped you out, go ahead, leave a like. I'm always making more videos, so if you want to see them, keep up with them. Go ahead and subscribe. If you have any questions or if there's anything else that, uh, that you're having problems solving or understanding, let me know. Leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll take a look. I'll try to put a video uh, together for you and help you out, man. I'm just like you. I got, I got questions, I'm looking for answers and I, I do this for fun, man. I, I like figuring these things out uh, and just kind of sharing it with everybody. So until then guys, this is Low for Low Nose. Well, you know, sort of. I'll catch you in the next video, bye.